Hi there, I'm Mark um, from Infinity Props and in association with Pepper Cure Bills. I'd like to give a big thank you first to Ian Sweeting and Mark Newman. Is it Mark Newman? Yeah, it's Mark Newman. It is, it is. Cool as. Update on the boot. Well, I've got to do it somehow. Okay, first things first. This is for a size, allegedly a size 8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post this over to, who do I want to post this over to? Ian, Ian Sweeting, okay, because I'm basically struggling to get the right size, I'm a, I'm a size <coughs> six and a half, and here's the bit, I've still got the toe caps to put on, there's the sole there, the thing I've got to do is I've got to fill this in with some foam cuttings and put a piece in here. It does sit flat, it sits perfect. It means that you're three and a half inches off the ground, so you'll be basically taller than you really are. And the boot is simple to make um, as, as a kit. So this is getting sold as a kit, as you speak. So this is the second boot. I've already sent a boot over to Mark Newman. He got a boot. Um, it was basically just this part, that part, and the toe part there. The heels weren't included. So I really wanted to get the size for a size 8, this is really for a size 6.5 to 7, okay, so I really need to get the size to size 8. So what I've done is I've extended, <laughs> I made the mistake of doing 15 mils uh, extension, so I said well if I do 15 mils either side I'll get 30, then realised, well basically I'm only getting 15 millimetres uh, extension that way. So basically I'm going to have to extend that 13, uh, 30 millimetres uh, on the side here, add 30 millimetres. And basically the hole's going to be too big then, so basically I'm going to add 15mm to this part to zero and 15mm, so this comes further up. Now it doesn't really matter what it looks like, okay, as long as the toe bit looks okay and the heel bit looks okay, um, this, this part up here shouldn't be a problem. So that's, uh, remember, to look up uh, Google Plus, if you go to Infinity Props and it's in association with Pepper Cure Bills, Pepper Cure Bills it's basically, it's, it's my page, and on Infinity Props, I'm just a moderator, okay, I've got Miguel, um, I hope I pronounced that name right, he's the actual owner, I just help um, run it and moderate it, so we do things like that, so, it does fit me, I'll do another video of me wearing it, um, I've got this up on uh, my stand, I bought a stand for doing the, the video, so there's the shoe, the shoe, the shoe does come out, um, as I said, I'm a size six and a half, seven. <clears throat> okay, so no comments on that. So there's the bit that throw that shoe down there. So basically, I've got the sole bit to do. So what I do is I'm just going to fill up with foam and cut like the angles off it, so it fills in the back fill, and then put the infill for here as a sole. I can't actually stand on it as it is, but also this foam piece collapses. Now I haven't thought maybe take this this piece out and lower it down to this heel here. I haven't decided that but then I've just lowered down. I don't know how comfortable it's going to be because I'm on my toes and I can't press hard against it. I should really put something underneath to test out. I, I'm actually putting my full weight on it because it feels uncomfortable. Um, to put my weight on it as it is because I'm basically standing on my toes and not putting pressure on the heel. So if I can put pressure on the heel, then it shouldn't be a problem. Now what I'm going to do is, I've still got the toe cap to cut out now. I've got to, I'm going to have this ready for Monday. This is going to be ready for Monday and ready for shipping. Um, Ian waits to the end of the month to buy his and uh, Mark. Is it, ah, it's Mark Newman. Did I say something else? Ian Sweeten and Mark Newman. Some will correct me, but hey, hey ho. These are reading glasses, I don't use these for anything else. Um, <laughs> useless information. Now, I've square cut, I've square cut these instead of doing a 45 degree on them because it doesn't really matter because basically you don't see the bottom of the, the shoe. Some people have hinged this piece here, so the toe comes up. 
and I can't see how to incorporate that into foam. I could, but it take too long, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I backfill this back up with layers of foam and then put a piece in here. So I'm going to basically stand on it fully and try to work on it. And basically I've only got one shoe, I've basically, basically <laughs> only got one shoe made. So I'll put this in the video, I'm going to put it on and I'll show you what I mean by I'm on my toes all the time. And it's quite hard, if I had two pairs it would have been easier. Um, sorry a pair, not two pairs, a pair. Continuity, but hey ho. So, that's it, that's the bit. I'll give you more details. It's just a quick demonstration of um, what this can do. So I'm going to send this to Ian, Ian Sweeting. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm getting sending this to him. If you'd like to send me an e email, Ian, and um, if your address again, I've got your address somewhere on eBay. Um, but if you can send me your address again, um, I post this out to you. And if this fits, then it's just a matter of cutting out. You can keep this, uh, and I'll basically cut the toe cap for you and make the other foot as well. And the job's a good one, as far as I'm concerned. Or I could send it as it is. You can bike fill it in yourself. I'll give you the heel, the sole bit uh, for the heel. Uh, you can infill it yourself, see how you get on, you might want to take this piece out. Because basically I want to get it right, it's got to be done right, it's got to be done good. And it's got to look the part. There's still, um, there's meant to be little V-shapes cut out onto this to give it the heel look. I've left that out because basically I might come up with another idea. I might, I might just cut them out with the hot uh, iron knife and do it from there. So, let's pause the video. Okay, so there I've got it set up. Uh, I've got my couples on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the, the shoe. Just fire the shoe in. The shoe fits in. I mean, these, these, these shoes are a seven and a half. These, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my Right, it helps if I check what shoe I've got. It's my right foot, so that just slips in nicely. Oh, it's quite sturdy. Okay, now the problem I've got, I can't put any pressure on it, so I'm basically on my toes at the moment. So there it is, it's actually pretty big. Once I put the toe piece on, it's going to be even bigger, but I suppose it's Iron Man, you expect things to be bigger as well. Now, as I say, I've got two clients. I've also got a client in France, believe it or not, a client, of, a client in France. Ugh, tongue tied and twisted. A client in France is buying these because they do international shipping now, and possibly I've got a guy from Italy as well who's interested. So, uh, Betty Coo, or Betty Coo is her name. Um, I take it that, that that's, in a, that's her account name. So I've still got some gluing to do here, but as I say, to work on it isn't a problem. I don't need the I don't need this to to, to pivot in any way. I find it quite easy to work on. I'm putting some pressure on the boot, but apart from that, there doesn't seem to be anything else. So. I'm trying to walk on my toes. Basically, it's uncomfortable to walk on my toes because I'm not putting any. I've got to put pressure on my heel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it back up with foam anyway, and then I'm going to test it out for for that. 